Hi there. In March 2023, David Smith et al. announced to the world the hat polykite. This shape here, where it looks a little bit like a hat. And this is an aperiodic monotile. And in this video, we'll have a look at aperiodic tiles and see how this shape leads us to these shapes here. Now, this is quite exciting because for 50 years, people have been looking for aperiodic monotiles. They've seen aperiodic tiles, and particularly the Roger Penrose pairs of tiles. So that's two tiles, but it always seemed very difficult or maybe impossible to have aperiodic monotile, just one tile. So what does aperiodic mean? Well, periodic tiling, things like squares or triangles or hexagons, they can just be put together in boring repetitive patterns. Non-periodic tiling is when they're not repeating boring patterns. But aperiodic means you have tiles that cannot be placed in a boring repetitive pattern. So let's start off by looking at what Penrose did 50 odd years ago with pairs of tiles. These are Roger Penrose's kite and dart tiles. And he had to introduce rules to make sure that they could only be tiled aperiodically. And one way of showing the rules is by putting these curvy lines on. So that part of the blue line, if put against here, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a continuous line. You'd have to flip it round, you see, put them together like this, that makes the continuous blue line, or like here. And same with the red lines. And another two tiles that he designed are these two rhombi or rhombuses. And again, they can only be put together in certain ways. And another way, instead of using curvy lines, is to put teeth or bumps on them. So that, like here, only this lump can fit into that hole there, or this lump can fit into that hole there this lump can fit into this hole here. I've actually used shapes like a pentagon here. This is the top of a pentagon. And this hole is like the bottom of a pentagon. Because the rhombi, the angles are based on pentagonal angles. So when you add these holes or bumps to these rhombuses, you end up with these two shapes. This is the thicker rhombus here. And here is the thin one, almost unrecognizable. So how can we put these together? That gives you some idea of how they all fit together. Let's have a look at some I saved earlier. Here we are now with 163 tiles. And these are the kites 
and darts. And here I put in 290 tiles. So here is the hat polykite the aperiodic monotile by David Smith et al. Now let's draw a few construction lines so we can get a better idea of what this consists of. Now I'm going to choose a thicker line And now you should be able to see why it's called a polykite. All these shapes are now kites, kite shapes. But what are the angles here? What about here? That's a straight line. Three points of the kites come together here. So each of those angles are 60 degrees. So these small angles here are all 30 degrees. And that's a big a collateral triangle here. So this angle here is 60. And this angle is 30. And here we have a, a 90 degree angle. So this made me think that uh, since 360 degrees divided by 30 is 12, we will need 12 orientations or angles of rotation to be able to draw these tiles to put them together to do tiling. Let's have a look and see what happened. So here we are, I defined the tile to have 12 orientations. But then if I histogram the colors, you can see something strange has happened. This line has zero, this line 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 zero. These are the main tiles and these are the flipped tiles and they've been turned over. But all these zeros, indicate that every other orientation is not needed. So instead of having every 30 degrees orientation, I just need every 60 degrees. So why is that? Let's go back to the original diagram of the tile. I'm going to draw lines here. to show you an equilateral triangle. Now I'll just temporarily draw in a red line here. Now you can see we have a right angle triangle. 
So if we call this one and this two, the red line is root three. So the red line is of irrational length. So let's draw in the rest of these lines using this color scheme. Now let's have a look at what orientation these lines are at. All the red lines are either this direction or this direction or this direction. Those are the irrational lines and all the integer length lines are in this direction or this direction or horizontal. And so if you rotate the tile by 30 degrees, every irrational length side will try to fit against an integer length side. And that won't work. So you have to rotate by 60 degrees. So every irrational side goes to another irrational side, or every integer length side goes to another integer length side. So I redesigned the definition of my tile for my program with six orientations and angle of turn 60 degrees. So the blue numbers here represent multiples of 60 degrees. And I'm sure you've all played with a turtle. If you imagine a turtle coming down here, and then turn by 60 degrees. That's why it's one, one multiple of 60 degrees. And then when it gets to here, instead of turning in again, it turns out by 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is one and a half, 60 degrees. And then turns in by one, turns in by one and a half, turns in by one, turns out by one and a half, turns in by one, and then, I hope David Smith at Al can forgive me, instead of having one length of two units, I've made it two lengths of one, with a turtle tone of zero. And that's because when the tiles snap together, we want side ones with side ones, or side root three with side root three. If we have a a side of two here, it made things more complicated. So now we're in the program. Let's test our new tile. Oh, that's a flipped one. Click here, put it back to normal way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different orientations. I'm rotating by. 60 degrees. So now let's see if we can construct um, an aperiodic tiling using this monotile. Make a bit smaller to make space. Now I've got 105 normal tiles and 16 flipped ones. And now we have 139 normal tiles and 21 flipped ones. One thing I like to experiment with is rotational symmetry. 
let's imagine this looks a bit like a t-shirt, doesn't it? So imagine these people they haven't met for a long time. They're having a reunion and they get together like this, put their arms around each other. You see, I'm putting together these angles here. And last one up there. There we are. They all come together in a nice circle with a hexagonal hole. I'll just fill in the hole here. Now, what do you notice about this shape here? So I'll paste the shape into here. Again. And they seem to be fitting together quite nicely. This group of six tiles and a black hole in the middle. In fact, it's a periodic tessellation. Now this time, let's see if we can use this 120 degree angle to put three together without leaving any hole. So we are put another one there and then that one there. So what could we put into there? Well, here's a flipped tile that would fit there. In fact, the best I managed with this, I'll show you here, is this. 66 normal tiles and 12 flipped tiles, 78 altogether. Now, I'm pretty sure the way this is designed, this mono tile, it isn't possible to continue with rotational symmetry for infinity. But uh, that's as far as I got anyway.